Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices, serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. Many have fought for our American right to vote, and each election day, many head to the polls to cast their votes on who they feel would be best to lead our country, state, and region. Do you remember the first time you voted? How did you feel? Proud to be an American? Melanie Stanford and Janet Caldwell, both from the Philippines, got to vote in their first presidential election yesterday. While this was Stanford's very first time voting, Caldwell participated in the primary. Both say their experience was unforgettable. My first voting experience is like, I'm a little nervous when I'm ready to vote. But then after I'm done voting, it kind of feels good. I'm so proud to have voted yesterday and hopefully everything will be turned at 12 like we have a new president now and I'm so proud that I'm a U.S. citizen now. Both obtained citizenship this year but they are no strangers to the U.S. Caldwell became a legal U.S. resident in 2006 in Stanford in 2010. Melanie Stanford was able to vote in Pike County, and Janet Caldwell voted in Floyd County. Finally, being able to vote in America was an exciting time for the both of them. It's a look like uh, you, I'm uh, belong to here. Look like I'm very happy that I am a U.S. citizen, and I'm proud of it. I was so excited, very proud, and honored to vote here in America. Congratulations to our new president, praying and hoping for the better future for everyone, especially the young ones. And remember, regardless of yesterday's outcome, being able to vote should always make you proud to be an American. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Shelby Steele.